Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and now that my obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community, but this one's going to be really kind of more of an informative, and I'm going to use a quote that someone threw in the other day by Eddie Hall as a segue into this topic, uh, because this person said, Jason, Eddie Hall said in a podcast the other day that short people can't be great at the deadlift. And so when you say that short people have an easier time deadlifting, what are you talking about? So let me go ahead and put on my plus five hat of speechcraft, which is lovingly called my plus five hat of autism by many of you. And uh, let's talk about this. All right. Uh, what people need to understand is what I'm talking about relative strength and talking about the distance that they move the bar. Uh, now, one thing we do need to remember, and this is going to be an interesting comparison, is that strong men do not follow the same rules for deadlifting that we think of for powerlifters and everyone else. Uh, oftentimes they're wearing a deadlift suit, they're using wrist straps, they're allowed to hitch. Um, some of these guys who you guys are thinking of as these amazing deadlifters in a strongman environment, when they, when they deadlift, say, powerlifter style, uh, raw meat legal powerlifting, some of them are only like 900 pound pullers or 850 pound pullers. So here's what you need to think about. What happens when you have someone who is shorter than them and lean, who specializes in the deadlift, what happens? Now, sometimes their absolute strength is higher than theirs. Not just their relative strength, but, but some of these guys who you're thinking of, these 400 plus pound guys who are only pulling 900 pounds, Taylor Woolham weighing like 210 the other day, just pulled 950 raw in competition. All right, think about that for a moment. See the comparison there? Do you guys see the problem with the relative strength? He's absolutely stronger than some of them on the lift while being 200 pounds lighter and while being shorter. And if you guys are thinking even in terms of a Wilkes type score or relative strength, look at what some of these amazing strongman deadlifters are pulling. They're still something in the, in the range of only 100 or 150 pounds more than him on the deadlift, even with their straps. Even wearing a deadlift suit, even allowed to hitch while outweighing this guy by over 200 pounds, right? Their body weight difference isn't even added to it. So uh, people need to understand when we're talking in terms of that relative strength, it absolutely matters. Now, when he says short people will never be great deadlifters, what does he mean? Because they just can't put enough muscle on. In other words, shorter people don't have enough frame to hold enough muscle to deadlift a thousand pounds, right? That's what he's essentially saying. Pound for pound, short people will always beat you on the deadlift every single time. Unless they just really suck or you're just amazing, shorter guys have an enormous advantage on the deadlift. And it's because we find that the deadlift is the least correlated with body weight out of the big three lifts. It, it is the least correlated with body weight when studies have been run. There's actually been studies that looked at this at universities and powerlifters uh, and they found that the bench press was most correlated with body weight and the deadlift least correlated with body weight. Um, and we also know that size equals strength when adjusted for height. Now, what you guys are going to notice when you start working with other lifters, um, you start training with other guys, you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. When you start training with guys of different heights, your little short friend who's your workout partner, you're going to be surprised how he keeps pace with you on the deadlift. If you guys start out early in the gym, and let's say your average height, you're 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and one of your workout buddies is 5'3", five 5'4", foot five foot because I've, I've had a uh, powerlifting partner on my team who I trained with sometimes who was 5'4". Um, you would be surprised how much these 5'4 guys deadlift real quick in their training. You'd be really surprised. It's honestly, it's shocking how strong they get, particularly relative to their body weight, very quickly. Like, I've noticed they hit, usually your really short guys like that, they will hit a triple body weight deadlift in no time. That's not like a five-year goal for them. That's not a five-year goal for them. Whereas in World's Strongest Man competitors are lucky if they ever hit double their body weight, right? And these guys are like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 These guys struggle to ever reach double their body weight. Like your, your short guys, your 5'3", your 5'4", guys, they usually hit a triple body weight deadlift if they focus on it inside of a couple years. Frequently, they'll hit triple their body weight. Not that big of a deal for them. And it has to do with the fact that 
they just don't need as much muscle mass to pull the same amount of weight. And I'm not saying that they're going to beat you because if you weigh more, you weigh quite a bit more, even if you're taller and you have more muscle than them and you beat them on the other lifts, you're probably, you are going to be stronger on the deadlift, but it's going to be a much, much smaller gap. In other words, you're going to beat them on the squat and the bench a hell of a lot more than you're going to beat them on the deadlift. They shorter guys just tend to have really good deadlifts. And, and it's, again, because it's least correlated with body weight. It's the least correlated with total muscle in your body. It still matters. You, muscle mass still is what moves the deadlift. But it's the least correlated with total muscle mass on your body. Um, and they're moving the weight a much shorter distance. And you need to remember the plates are a standardized height and they have shorter legs. So for them, uh, it, it is basically a short rack pull oftentimes. So someone who's, say, four inches shorter than average, five inches shorter than average, their deadlift comes up real fast because they are pulling the equivalent of a little bit of a partial. Whereas in a taller guy is pulling the equivalent of a deficit because the difference between his arms and his legs is a bigger gap, meaning he might have longer arms than average being taller, but his legs are even longer. So he's pulling the weight usually a much longer distance. He's pulling from a lower uh, position relative to his hips, his body, everything. Whereas in the short guy is pulling from a much, much shorter distance. So their relative strengths are always enormous on the deadlift. If they, if they really work at it and they put any effort in the deadlift, they're going to, again, when you start looking at pound for pound, uh, they're always going to win pound for pound, right, every time. Like, it's not uncommon for a 140-pound, 150-pound short guy to deadlift 500 pounds in no time. How many of you guys out there are hitting a 500 deadlift who are average height or even slightly taller? What if you're six foot six one? When you still weigh 150, even 160, you're not pulling 500. You're not doing it. Your five foot four buddy is going to do it at 145. He's going to do it in 150. Um, and, and that's common. I've seen it quite a few times. And, and like one of my workout partners I used to train with, and we did some meets together when I was in the UK, I watched him it weigh in like 145, walk in and open with 510 pounds. That's his opener on a deadlift. Like he could rep that. He could do five reps with that. Uh, and he was lifetime drug free, and he'd only been lifting weights for five years. He'd only walked into a gym his first time five years before that. I mean, granted, the guy was gifted, but that's, that's kind of the norm. So when we're having this discussion, I'm not saying that in terms of absolute strength. I'm not telling you that a guy who's five foot four or five foot five is going to be a world record deadlift holder in the 220 or the 242 or the 308 weight class. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's going to go compete in the world's strongest man. But in terms of relative strength, that guy's going to reach a 500 deadlift relatively easily. Be surprised as long as they're willing to bulk a little bit. Um, and what you're going to find is that when you start looking at even Wilkes-type scores on just the deadlift by itself, if you don't compare their other lifts, it tends to be really good. And if you start doing a pound-for-pound pound ratio, it, it's going to be really fast. Like, that guy's going to hit a double body weight deadlift in no time. Um no time, like we're talking a few months after joining the gym. Triple body weight deadlift, probably going to happen in less than two years for that guy. And that's perfectly normal. That's just normal. Because again, even though they don't have this, the, the frame that will allow them to hold enough muscle, they're never going to deadlift a thousand pounds. No. So, I mean, when you listen to guys like Eddie, yeah, they're right, you're right on that regard. But it's because their frame can't hold enough muscle. And even if they did a bucket load of steroids, there's only so much room for muscles to grow relative to the lengths of their arms and legs and torso. So that's, there's an issue there. They just really can't get big enough, um, you know, without just their, probably their heart getting out trying to carry that much muscle on their frame just from the drug abuse. Um, so there's that factor, but yes, it will limit their absolute strength on the deadlift, but in terms of their relative strengths, uh, they will excel at the deadlift tremendously. So again, what you're going to find is that their deadlift is going to be a lot closer to yours as an average height person, even with the same amount of training experience. Even if you're out benching them, even if you're out squatting them, you're going to be surprised how frequently they still catch you on a deadlift or get very, very close to your deadlift while weighing 30 or 40 pounds less than you, right? And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, the deadlift is just simply an easier lift for shorter guys relative. And it just has to do with the leverages and moment arms involved with the exercise. It's, that's all it is. It's a leverage thing. It doesn't mean that they're stronger per se. Um, it's that the leverages, the range of motion, everything else is different. They don't have to produce as much force 
because of the moment arms and levers and the distance move, they don't have to produce as much force as someone who's taller to move, say, 500 pounds. There's less energy involved for them. And if there's less energy and less force required to do it, you don't need as quite as much muscle and you don't need as much body weight, right? Because muscle has weight. So that's what I'm saying with that. And there's where the confusion is. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.